Okay, guys, so ever since Sandra and Ward took over the channel, they made me do buggy chokes. Not even that. In this second video, we're going to show you some different variations. We're even going to show you how to do reverse buggy chokes. Yeah, check it out. Ooh. Okay, guys, I never thought I would see the day, but since Sandra and Ward took over the channel, not only have we filmed a buggy choke video, I'll put the link above Sandro's head, we're gonna do a short part two today with some variations to reverse bigger choke. Now for that fact alone, before you continue, please like and subscribe and leave a comment below because this, this is, I'm giving my soul here to do this. I promise never to do buggy chokes. Let's get to it, guys. So we did the whole buggy choke video. Check it out, uh, the basics and how I would like you to do it from bottom and blah, 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 and all the setups and Renee Souza and Jay Rod and all the stories. Today, we're gonna show you something different. As I'm here, uh, we're gonna do a different scenario. My partner might be chasing my back. I hope this is audible. As we're here, this is not a good place for me to be in. He has the option to take my back. He has control over me, like side control. So once again, and I'm, Putting a disclaimer here, I want you to not let your guard, not have your guard passed, recover, wrestle back up, re-guard, but sometimes you just have to hit that silver button, yeah, that panic button. So now as we're here, we're gonna do the buggy choke. So the same things apply. I'm not just circling my leg and catching it, yeah, with a lot of gap in between. I'm bringing my elbow and my knee down as I AB out a little bit to put his arm and neck closer together. As we're here, circle it in, catch here for the buggy choke. Now we can finish off here by bringing my lat down. So I told this in the first video, guys, don't bring your lat up. This will put a lot of strain on your knee, your ligaments. Bring your lats down, so crunch in, yeah? What we could also do, what we saw in the first video, is get up and get some height, yeah? This will give him more options maybe to do different back attacks or get a, a Dagestanian handcuff or whatever, yeah? So be aware, but you could get up if you have some trouble reaching that lat. Bring your knee and elbow together circling catch. Now you can close a figure four here, you can close a gable grip. Hold this. You can close a gable grip or an S grip, but here you can bring your lat down, squeeze, and get this reverse buggy choke. Yeah, so um, this is one I wanted to show you that we didn't get in the previous video because we wanted to keep it short. Also something I wanted to show you is the setup from a body lock pass. This has a cool story because uh, Rene Sosa drilled this actual body pass into buggy choke when he had the match with J-Rod at uh, who's number one, uh, who's next? I don't know what's the name of the thing. Um, but he was drilling this backstage. He even gave up the space to let him go for the body lock pass. So he could set up that buggy choke. So as Sandro is passing to his left, I'm already catching him here. So what he did, he was already anticipating. Now what he likes to do, I think if I remember correctly, is sitting up and basing, as we see in the video, to get more height and then get an easier entry into the buggy choke, yeah? And now once again, I can kick this leg out, figure four, I can close my Gabriel grip, but all I need to do is bring my lat down, start squeezing, and get that choke there, that strangle. So from the body lock, just rewind that, that's a good setup. And finally, I'm still on camp of not doing too many buggy chokes from top position. If you're on top, you wanna to maintain top, go to mount, back mount, etc. But let's just do one that I think is pretty cute, is the one from Scarfold. So in scarfold position, if you are flexible enough, I wanna keep his arm tight anyway. We have two videos on the scarfold submission system. That's a cool name, right? Scarfold submission system. Check that out, I'll put a link here. Um, but this buggy choke was not in it. What I do is the same thing. I start walking up, bringing his head up, and start catching my leg, bringing it in, and closing here. Now, I can close the figure four, just go here, start squeezing, bring it all together, get the choke here. Now I really, as you see, I don't really do this. I don't like giving up top position, even scarfold, to get my leg out and start choking there. Just wanted to give you guys a cool thing to do at open mat or bully new white belts with. I hope you guys enjoyed this extra content video on the reverse buggy choke, the body lock pass setup, and the scarfold buggy chokes, yeah. I promise never to do buggy chokes on the channel, but yeah, 2024, what do you have to do, yeah? The guys need something to do as well. Now you have to hit the like and subscribe button or at least let me know in the comments what you thought. See you in the next one. Peace out. Oof.